Hi, Rich Spazano here with Digitally Fearless, and this is 31, number 31 of my powerful tools of Affinity Photo. For those of you who are doing digital art, this tutorial is really very important, and I'm going to show it in both the desktop version and the iPad version because it's a very quick tutorial. Before I do, could you please click that like and subscribe button? I don't do this for the money, I do this to enjoy teaching, but I'd like more people to see my tutorials, and the more people who subscribe, the more Google shows my tutorials online and features it. So thank you so much, and let's get started. So I just did a rectangle. Watch what I do. I'm going to take a paintbrush, and I'm going to pick oil an oil painting like oil brush like this it's a standard brushes in affinity photo i'm going to give it a color green and what i'll do is i'm just going to paint right over this now picture yourself as an artist who wants to shade something and i'm going to give you a close-up of this if you want to do shading and you're painting like this you notice how all the edges are like a darkish color Instead of being just all green or lighter shades of green, that darkness, it's like almost like there's a shadow. Now, if you want to put a shadow, you can do that on your own with effects and things. But I don't think if I'm doing shading or I want to paint something, I want that dark. I don't think I want those dark edges to show because in real painting, that shouldn't show up like that. So here's why it happens. When you start Affinity Photo, the default is RGB8. But watch this. I am going to go up to Document, and I'll go to Convert Format, and instead of RGB8, I am going to change it to Lab 16, and watch very carefully on the paint as I say Convert. And look at that. So now if I get a close-up, you can see if I wanted to do shading, you could see, let me get my brush out of the way here. I'll, I'll put the move tool on. You can see shading, the lighter shading of green and the magenta showing through, but you don't get those dark shadows. So say you were doing a little bit of shading and you want to do different shades of green and lighter and different colors. You don't have that darkness. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to undo that just to see the difference. Look at the difference there. Now this should not be this way. I don't know. I guess it's the color gamut and it can't show all the colors. So if you wanted to do shading and digital oil painting, I would suggest you go to Lab 16. It's much better. So I showed you here, it's easy, document, convert ICC format, and then here it is. Uh, you don't even need to worry about this. You just need to go from RGB8 to Lab 16 and hit convert. And when you're done, that's what you get. Now I'm going to show you this right now in iPad. Again, it'll take two seconds. So here we are on the iPad, and it's the same thing that you saw before. This is our, this is now lab showing you because I just pulled it in. But if you go up here on the top, right there, and you go here and you say convert document, then down below you see lab 16 right here. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll switch from lab 16 to RGB8, which is how it normally would show, and then I hit apply, and you see the difference? So I really believe that if you are a digital artist and using the paint brushes, you should definitely go up here again to document, convert document, down on the bottom, I'm going to press and go to lab 16 right there, and then I'm going to say apply. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and if you did, Please click that like and subscribe button and have a great day.